Let A and B be subsets of a third set S. Then A is a subset of B if and only if the complement of B, which we're writing as B prime, B complement is a subset of A complement. We'll be proving this simple set theory result in today's Wrath of Math lesson. I should point out the set S here is what we might call our universal set. So the complement of B and the complement of A, they're both taken with respect to the set S. So if this purple box is our set S, and say that this yellow circle is our set B, B complement is everything that is in S, but not in B. That's the complement of B in this context. And similarly for the complement of A. Notice this is an if and only if theorem, so we'll have to prove two directions. First, we will assume that A is a subset of B. And we'll use that assumption to prove that B complement is a subset of A complement. Then we'll do the other direction. Assume this, and then prove this. Another way you could say this result is that everything in A is in B if and only if everything not in B is also not in A. But let's not worry too much about the specific language we want to use to describe the result. Let's just get into the proof. So we have assumed that A is a subset of B. We want to show that B complement is a subset of A complement. So let's begin with an element of B complement. So if an element that we'll just call X, if X is an element of B complement, then, by definition of B complement, X is not an element of B. Remember, right now our goal is to show that X must be an element of A complement, because we want to show everything in B complement is also in A complement. So any element of B complement certainly is not an element of B. However, if it's not an element of B, then it also cannot be an element of A. So this implies that X is not an element of A, because if X were an element of A, it would also have to be an element of B, because A is a subset of B. But of course, we know that X is not an element of B. Thus, since X is not an element of A, by definition, X is an element of A complement, which again we're writing as A prime. Thus, we have our desired result. We've just shown that every element of B complement is also an element of A complement. Therefore, A being a subset of B implies that B complement is a subset of A complement. Now we have proven the first direction. Now for the next step, we assume that B complement is a subset of A complement. This time we want to use this assumption to prove that A must be a subset of B. Similar to before, since we want to show that A is a subset of B, we will begin with an element of A. So let's say we've got an element X, in the set A. If X is an element of A, then by definition of set complement, X is not an element of A complement. And perhaps you can see where this is going. This is really exactly like the other direction of the proof. And remember that our goal is to show that if X is an element of A, it must also be an element of the set B. And remember we just said that X is not an element of A complement, since it is an element of A. Thus, since it isn't an element of A complement, just as before, using similar logic, we know that X cannot be an element of B complement because B complement is a subset of A complement. So if X was an element of B complement, it would also have to be an element of A complement, but it's not an element of A complement, so it's not an element of B complement. Thus, again, by definition of set complement, X is an element of B. And there is, once again, our desired result. We've just shown that if any element is in A, that element is also in B. Therefore, by definition of subset, A is a subset of B. Let me rewrite that B. A is a subset of B. So B complement, being a subset of A complement, implies that A is a subset of B. And that completes the proof. First, we assumed that A was a subset of B and proved that B complement must also be a subset of A complement. 
Then for the second direction, we assumed that B complement was a subset of A complement and showed that that forced A to be a subset of B. Thus, if A and B are subsets of a third set S, then A is a subset of B if and only if B complement is a subset of A complement. I hope this video helped you understand this simple set theory proof. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.